and peer pressure me into going down. I knew I should have walked it. Uh oh, uh oh. I have to say, it's been pretty fun today. <laughs> I mean, we will definitely remember this trip. Adventure time in the hills of Tennessee. Alex and Josh back there, and we're uh, scouting out some rivers, or a river, and um, it looks amazing. A little dangerous though. You know, what's what's the ratio of like, looks good, could be dangerous, don't know. Everybody's gotta make their own decision, and I'm always wanting to go a little like, let's just do it, let's just try it. Could be horrible getting let out, me, but. Let me, let me preface everything he just said by saying the bridge that we just walked over is about a 45 foot vertical drop down to the water and so i mean it's going to be interesting i'm doing i'm going to send it i mean i'm all about sending it it's just during the send itself is what's going to happen to it and, and me and john had these panic inducing conversations on the way here about you know what if we run into a copperhead or a rattlesnake or one of us breaks our leg or something like that so that's john's yeah. thought process in this already so yeah we're gonna have fun that's for sure yeah it's gonna happen that's for sure alex scouted out this new area and it's an area that i've been to part of it but i've never done been on this river so it's very remote wild. the water's crystal clear and uh it looks awesome so i hope we can find a way to fish it All right, so it looks like we're gonna do it. We weren't sure, but we dropped the truck off. Man, this looks good. There's like a whole concrete thing over there. This water, is it's shallower and, and smaller than I thought. But, dude, I bet it's gonna be a little bit bigger once we get out there. And um, there's definitely, has a chance of some big fish in here. Dude, this water looks so good. It's kind of small, like I said, but it's wide and there could be definitely fish anywhere. There's lots of sunfish I already see around here. It's also already muggy and warm up here, but I'm excited to try this. It's gonna be fun. Got what? Yeah. Hold on, I caught a fish. First cast, red breast. <laughs> I threw a little lure. There's like a ton of sunfish in here. I brought this little light rod along with my other rod, so I kind of want to see what all we catch. That, I, I didn't realize there was so much sunfish. That's a good sign. I like seeing that because it means there's, it means there can be bigger smallmouth because there's a lot of fish to eat. Mm -hmm. I watched him eat it. Yeah, there's fish in here. I see a little one underneath. We're kind of just exploring our first hole here. I think that guy's been caught before. He's got a little tear in his mouth. About a little 10 inch small. I saw one over there about 12 inches. This water is so clear. Let's get a release and see it. This back of the pool here has a lot of small, uh, small mouth. 
but that's a good sign of a good population. Another little guy, maybe a little bigger. Hey, right, he's all right. Nice. Hey, that's a solid one. At least 13. Pretty thick. Pretty fish there. That's a good one. Don't, don't bunch up through here because it, it looks like it makes a little turn, so you might have to. I don't know if I have to stop or not. Ooh! I don't know. I may actually walk this. I don't know. <laughs> Just because it makes a sharp turn, I don't want to run into the trees. Hard though. Nice solid. That current. Hey guys, can dig. <laughs> oh man, I love these wild fish. About, about 13 inch or that's just fired up. There's a few more in there. I got hit. Yeah. Uh, I got hit a couple times. This guy was on the bank over there. <laughs> I've, I've probably got 10 bites out of that little stretch right there. It's a fast current, but there's so many small smallmouth in here. And I'm throwing this big Helgramite. But if, the, if I'm still getting them, I might as well stay with it, I guess. I think, it, I think this lure is just going to wear them out all day. we just gotten going, and this place is way... This is better than I thought it was going to be. Like, I wasn't sure what to expect. What'd you say? What's the exact same thing? I mean, what are y'all doing? I'm, I'm over here trying to catch fish. <laughs> There's supposed to be so many of them sitting back here. Yeah, look at that. Hold on, let me, uh, let me, let me come by you. Hey, we got to walk again? Yeah. You gotta find the line and ride it out. Gonna be some places where we probably got a rock like walk. We could make we could have made it. I probably could have made it through that, but it's like I don't want to risk it with a bunch of stuff on here. Yeah, now looking looking back at it, I could run right through that. But we got out and walked just to be safe. I gotta get up on this rock. It looks too so cool. <laughs> I thought it was tipping. That was crazy. It almost tipped. Oh, little guy. Hey, it's a lot of work getting through here. Uh, I hope they can make it through without tipping because that was a little sketchy.
Stay on that. Stay on that side. Hey, tell him to stay on that side, the far side of it. You gotta stay on that side. Yeah, to push you in. I got a video. See if Alex made it. I thought I was gonna tip. I did too. It sucked my side down. I was like, oh wow. There's fish right there. I caught one. I'm gonna record Alex and we'll. Uh, man, hopefully we can find some more places to float. We don't have to. Alex will be the one to flip. Just stay, we should lower our seats probably. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I knew it. I knew it. And there you go. Let's grab his stuff. Stay. I got it. Stay there. I was life jacking this later. Uh, that stinks. Oh, get that right there, uh, Josh. Can you get this? Uh, I got that one. Grab his plastic bag. You get the bag, or you get that side. Get that left side, I'll get the right. Get his hat and get that thing right there. Man, we may have to do a lot of water. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, did, the first one I went through. Well, what happened was when I you hit that thing, it goes like this, and when it did, the water got over the side of it uh, and it just flipped it. You want? Oh, I got one. I have to fix that. Yeah, hey, I can't think. I don't think oh. I need extra battery. I got, I got some batteries. I don't have extra battery packs. Um. I just like oh, this to is see. Yours. I'm about to say this thing. Huh? You have extra batteries, you said. Yeah. Let me um, just stick a battery in this thing and see if it's dead real quick. All right, boys and girls. Well, I flipped the kayak. Um, I lost everything that I had and I got it all back. So, thanks to Josh and John, I got literally everything that I lost back. I, I think I've killed two GoPros. So John is letting me borrow a GoPro for a little while. So the rest of the video that you guys see, you can thank John for that. And peer pressure me into going down. I knew I should have walked it. Hey, it's hard to do stuff when that current catches. There's so many places we're not casting them. We're like, there's, there could be fish anywhere. It's kind of, you almost kind of, it's like, you got to really go take your time going through this kind of water. Cause they're, you don't know. We could be anywhere. Next one looks worse. Josh got a solid one. Well, I didn't realize my GoPro was off. I don't know what you, we've missed, but we've come down a couple uh, pretty tough gorges. And um, of course, Alex flipped back there if I didn't see that. Um, we probably got a lot more of this to go. It's, uh, it's been tough. We're all burning up because we're, but I'm about to jump in here probably. So we ain't been out here real long, but everybody's caught in some fish and there we finally come across a nice big deep hole. And uh, hopefully we get a few more fish out of that, but let's get back. Oh, okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. <laughs> Trying to get over here where it's a little shallower. Maybe I'm like, yeah, you just gotta step out in it. Just jump out. Fall over. Fall over. I would have to say, it's been pretty fun today. <laughs> I mean, we will definitely remember this trip. There's no doubt about it. Oh, yeah.
It just wants me to, I just want to explore more of it. Oh, that felt good. All right, I'm ready for the next one mile. I feel like we've barely gone anywhere. I don't even want to know. I'm here for the, I'm here for the day. I, there's my first sandwich. And, well, only sandwich, but I do got more. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's a bird. Oh, it's a plane. It, it just, it just splashed down there. I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's Superman. What, what kind of bird is it? It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. Superman. Ah! There he is. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's go, boys. Yeah! yeah. Jump. Jump. You got that bit. Yeah, man. That's a nice one. Oh. Check that one out, Alex Scott. That is super nice. Pretty, probably 18 inch small mouth. Yeah, at 18, least. 19 inches. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, fishing is good, and whenever we've gotten these deep holes, everybody's caught fish. Josh, I mean, Alex just um, got like an 18 incher. And um, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna downsize now. I'm gonna go, I was using the 4.25, but a Nico Hogan, I'm gonna go down to the three inch. I think it's gonna help me land better. I don't know about bigger or not, but I've been getting so many bites, they're not getting a hold of it. And um, you know, this is a smaller, a big, or more of a creek anyway. So I think, I think that one's gonna do. And I got it in the mud bug color, which, which I really like. Oh yeah. <laughs> Be fun. Oh, God. Doubled up. Come on, come on, come on, Alex, get it. Josh's got one up there. I got one. Another, that's a 11, 12 incher. Oh, steel. That's an 11 incher. I'm up boulder, but I can't tell. Man. It looks like it's going over a boulder. I don't know what to do. John, I'll be careful. Yeah, there's a rock right there. Yeah. Be careful. Now we go. Like. <laughs> Not to do it. It's pretty deep. Oh, dude, what a view! It's cool right here. What is it? This view right here is awesome. Dude, some places are tough to get to for a reason, and it's just, it's so cool to see places like this that are untouched, wild, that a lot of people will never see. There's another one below, it's a little bit bigger, but this is about a 10, 11 inch. The other one was probably a couple inches bigger. Man, this place, this, this little area is absolutely remarkable. This kind of place that I would love to come. I don't even care if I didn't get the fish, it's just like worth coming. Look at the, look at the Tennessee rock. Beautiful gorge after beautiful little gorge. A little work getting through here, but it, it's been paying off and worth it. Hey Josh, yeah. come, come catch my come catch my kayak. <sighs> Gone, stranded. Got a jump.
Hold on, hold on. All right, we just made it through a little area there. Got in, made a cast. Got a nice dark colored one on a spinnerbait. Now I gotta change my back bat my back camera battery. It uh, just died on me. There we go. Yeah. All right, they are gonna hit the spinnerbait. There's two. I tore his mouth up a little bit. Yeah, there. He's a little chunky though. Man, there's so many to this side. I, I would love to get one of those in the day off with a, like a really nice, something like, you know, 16 inch or a bit more. But uh, Alex has got one that's probably 18 inch. And I think I probably got a 15, maybe a 14 or 15. And Josh has probably got like a 15. But. Everybody's been catching a lot of like just 11, 12 inches. So it's been making the day interesting. Some rock bass mixed in there. Uh, I'm a big ones here, boys. All right, so next week we're doing a trip, the same thing, except smallmouth, I mean, except spotted bass. Yeah. Josh, you in? What? Now that I've done this, I don't, I don't, I'm not so worried about how bad that's gonna be. Cause I think it's gonna be similar where we're gonna have to walk stuff, but it ain't gonna be no drops like that. Yeah. So next week, spotted bass? Same thing, spotted bass. I probably, I probably we should just plan for Thursday. Thursday next week? Josh, yeah. Yo. Don't plan nothing Thursday next week if we're going on another fishing trip. Yeah, it was, I just looked back. Oh, got him. Nice. That's a good one, ain't it? Yeah, it's the best one I've had in a while. Right there in the middle. Oh, there's another one behind him. I'll take that. Check out that little guy. He's got all kinds of black specks on him. That one's got quite a bit. Pretty fish. We gotta get a picture of him. He's got a lot of specks on him. Alrighty. 
That's another low, uh, about 11, 12 incher. Right behind you, Josh. Pull that one right behind you, Josh. <laughs> They're all over. You can just throw it in a hole somewhere. Oh, oh, I got one. Oh. Oh, oh, he thinks he's big. He thinks he's a big one. That's not a bad fish. Yeah, for a good on these rapids. Dragging it through, stuff slipping out. This is ridiculous. I videoed Alex trying to come down the thing. Well, he just swam down instead of walking it down. It's one way to get your kayak. This is just this is this is crazy. One thing I love about these cold mountain streams, it's fun to swim in. <laughs> It's amazing how refreshing it feels. Just, dude, it, it has been a grind. Like I do a lot. If you watch my channel, I do a lot of stuff where it's tough work getting around. This is this is the hardest one I've ever done this, by this far. Is, yeah, I mean, this I've, is I've done some that are shorter that are hard, but this is the, the length that we've been on, and we don't know how far it is to go. I'm gonna try to pull it up with a map. So, it's this been a really minute ordeal. Lots of things happening. Exciting. We've got a lot of stories to tell. Got fish. Beautiful scenery. Like. This kind of stuff that it's just it's just gorgeous, like picture perfect. So, uh, but yeah, we're we're pretty tired. Probably starting to try to just get out of here. We're literally walking some places. We yeah. are literally walking forty yards, kayaking twenty yards, yeah. walking forty yards, kayaking twenty. If yards. we if we come to a hole this big, it's like the best thing in the world. Like yay, yeah. we should yeah. kayak up. This but. is Bruce. This is Bruce. This has been. I have to say, like I've done some tough crap, and I did one by the house last year, last fall. That was probably. The toughest as far as just like having to get the kayak out of the water, oh. but this right here is brutal just because it's every rock is slippery. Every time yeah. you step on something, it shifts. I mean, it's yeah, just... th some places you can get out and walk and drag your kayak that are easy, but yeah. this, this there's no easy walking, so no. that that really adds to it. But hopefully the scenery's coming through, and uh, I plan to get a couple more pictures. So hopefully that shows up. I wish I had my drone. Josh is flying his, so go check out his channel. Go check out Alex's channel because see whatever I don't know what he's going to do out of this video, how he's going to turn it into something because. You just have to go find out. He'll he'll tell you everything that happened. Yeah. And uh, my drone broke, but I got another one coming. So probably a good thing I didn't bring it anyway. So, anyway, that's our update. Hopefully the next update's like getting out of here. Well, we're, I made I caught a small edge a second ago. Now I caught another one, but this was a real pretty one. I had to show it. But we're about to get back in our kayaks. Yeah. So glad we have this to do. Things like this though in the summertime.
<laughs> oh no, I don't even want to catch it. Get off there, get off there. Why you gotta get hooked? I watched him come up and hit it. Is that a red wrist? Yeah. That's a, no, that's a red wrist. We're going. I'm just doing it. Yeah. There's a couple big rocks, but. through it keep yourself going they don't stick Hey, why don't you uh, use wheels on your kayak? I mean, I heard it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I heard that too. Listen, guys, I'm gonna be real life with you here. John, you better put this in the video. Yeah. I got put so bad I can't stand it. I wore out, I lost my phone, I busted two GoPros, John broke two rods, John broke his little clippy thing in front of his kayak. <laughs> the day was amazing, because here's the deal. I'm not laying in a hospital bed, I don't got cancer. It's a great day to be alive. I'm blessed to be out here. I enjoy spending time with my buddies. But outside of that, this river, I'm never coming back. Oh, All right, they're gonna drive over and get the other truck. I'm gonna wait here with the kayaks. Well, we can load them up. No matter how the fishing goes, if you end it off with a Mexican, everything's good. Oh, yeah.